Okay, so I've gotten some questions on how I color graded um, some of my videos, especially with us, which if you haven't seen it, please watch it. You will love it. It's a short film I created. Uh, just click on the card right there. Um, and so you can see how I color grade and my kind of style, but also you can apply your style to this workflow too. So I'm just gonna go over my general workflow. It's really basic. There's only six nodes in DaVinci Resolve is the editing software I use. And it's really easy. The software is free. It's great. Highly recommend. All right, let's do this. Okay, so I'm working with this little short clip. I'm just gonna be doing this section here. And this is just um, a generic coffee making video in a pour over. So um, he's grabbing the pour over filter and putting it into the pour over. Is that a carafe? Carafe? I don't know. Anyway, go over to the color tab. Like I said earlier, I work with six nodes at a time usually. So each video I work on, I'll do six nodes for. So go ahead, Alt S if you're on Windows. I don't know if it's Option S on Mac, something like that, um, is the command to make more nodes. So go ahead and click Alt S until you have six nodes. And I'm going to drag these out into two rows. This is very important. So the first row up here is color correcting. And the second row down there is the color grade. It's very important to separate all these nodes out because the program processes them separately and it's a more clean look in the end. You're gonna get a really muddy look if you put it all in one node. You can make it work, but it's also easier to edit when it's in separate nodes like this too, so I just highly recommend this. So node number one, uh, if you right click on it, click on node label, we're gonna give these some labels so it's easier to look at. So uh, first one is, <laughs> if I can type, uh, is brightness. The second one is going to be color balance. I'm just giving this the most basic names just so you understand what I'm talking about. This one is just miscellaneous. Any sort of other color corrections you can see that you need. Um, next one is the color grade. This is very important um, or not. I mean, you really don't have to do a color grade. You could just color correct and publish your video and be done, whatever. Um, the next one is contrast. And the one after that is vignette. All right, so brightness, very simple. Adjust the brightness, level it all out. So I'm gonna make the scopes down here into the waveform so I can see this is just the general brightness of the screen from left to right. Um, so you can see it's pretty dark on the left side. That's the Keurig sitting over there. And then it gets bright around the filter. So um, it looks pretty good. You can see there's a little peak up here. So I'm actually gonna bring in the peaks, uh, the peak on the bottom and the top. And then I'm going to brighten everything. It seems like everything was kind of just on the bottom of the graph down there. So I'm just gonna brighten the whole image. So that looks good to me. So we're done. Next node, color balance. So there's a few ways you can do this too. Um, you can click on auto white balance down here, but I'm just gonna go over to page two on the bottom and adjust the temperature. This is the white balance. Um, so I think it looks pretty warm. Honestly, it's not too bad but I'm gonna cool it down. So I'm dragging, clicking and dragging this to the left to cool this down a bit. So you can see I introduced a little bit of blue there. So I'm gonna drag it back over. So somewhere around there. That's it for that node. Um, I'm not gonna do anything in the miscellaneous node because we don't really need to right now. There's nothing extra to correct. Uh, the color grade node, I'm gonna do the simplest grade known to human beings. It's the teal and orange grade. So what we're gonna do, make sure you're on the log color wheels and drag the shadows to teal just a little bit, nothing crazy. Um, yeah, something like that. Midtones, drag them to orange. You can go pretty far with this one. And then highlights, whoa, whoops. I, I'm playing it in backwards. I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> okay, ooh, anyway. Um, now drag the highlights to teal as well. So you can mess around with a bunch of different colors. A really good rule of thumb though is to drag the midtones the exact opposite direction on the color wheel from the highlight and shadow. It's just a really easy way to do it. Um, it kind of has you adding contrasting colors. So that's literally complementary colors. Anyway, this is my color grade. Looks pretty good, right? Not too shabby. Teal and orange is always a good way to go. You can never go wrong with teal and orange. All right, next one is contrast. So 
There is a slider on page one for contrast. You can use that, um, but I normally just use the curves right here. So contrast is just darkening the darks and brightening the brights. So you drag the darks down a little bit and you drag the brights up a little bit. A little bit can go a really long way here. If you like start making it to where it really visually looks crazy down here, it looks crazy up there. So just a little bit can go a really long way for you. All right, contrast is done. Let's do a vignette. Um, you don't have to do a vignette in your videos. This is just my little final touch I like to do in most of mine. Um, so you can go over here. Uh, what is this called? Windows? Yeah, window. Um, click on the circle. We're going to make it an oval. Drag it out and drag it down till it fits the screen. You can do whatever you want with this. If you want a vignette just around the subject of your video, you can do that too. It's kind of a cool, cool thing to do. Play around, guys. All right, uh, this is the feather, like, you know, fading it into the screen. So right now we're actually selecting the center of the screen and fading out to the edges. So if you click on this little thing, this is a toggle here, we are now selecting the outside of the screen and fading into the center. You can see on the node a little bit there, um, the gray in the center is what we're not selecting. So all we have to do is go to the curves or whatever you want to do to darken what we have now selected. So take the center of the curves. This is how I like to do it normally. It's just so easy. Drag it down a little bit and wow, we have a vignette. Okay, that's it. That's literally all you got to do. So uh, if you want to apply this exact grade to some of your other clips, you click on those clips down here and just click with the center of your mouse. Hopefully you have one of these. Um, and voila, all of your clips now have the same color grade. And what's nice about doing that, you don't necessarily have to use the same color grade because every shot's a little bit different, right? So you can go into those shots though and um, just turn off these nodes by clicking the numbers down in the corners and then go through this correction phase and correct these just like you would any other clip, just like I showed you a minute ago, and then just turn on the color grade at the bottom and then your video is done. So that's all you gotta do. Really easy, really quick workflow, and congrats, you have a video that's done and color graded now. So that is really it. If you have any questions, just please let me know down below. I would definitely answer them. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, have a great day. If you have any video suggestions for me, please let me know. But thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you really like this, if this helped you at all, please like, please subscribe, and just help me grow a bit. Thank you so much, bye bye.